So, uh, like Ina said, my name is Shuli Girutz, and I will talk about the uniqueness of children's or kids' user experience. Okay, so now you understand what I was, I was talking about. This was from a research about a uh, study about how children interact with voice assistants, and this is Alexa, and you can see the girl. Well, they're both having a great time, but they're not interacting the same way adults do with Alexa. So the first one is age-appropriate design, meaning that our design features will be relevant to different age group. Of course, kids are not all the same. So we have to remember that when we talk about human development, we talk about physical changes from the minute you're born as a baby. Think about it, physical development. Young babies, they can't even move on their own, right? Let alone do other things. And then when you're an adult, obviously you do everything. So fine motor skills, um, how you can use your hand, coordination, all these things really affect our interactions and they change over time. The second um, factor to think about is motivation. So when we talk in UX a lot, and I see you, you, you do this a lot, is about what is the motivation of the users? Like, why do they use the system? What is the context of use? What is the flow of the users? So when we talk about motivation for children, it's very different than adults. A lot of times in uh, HCI and, and, and uh, UX, Adults are looking for efficiency, a way to make it better. How do I make this website that sells uh, tickets for an airplane? How do I make it easiest and fastest and, and minimize you know, the error messages? And when you're designing for kids, that's not necessarily their goal. They're not trying to save time when they go uh, use a product, even if it's a, if it's a tool. They want to have fun. Fun is really important in their lives, and it should be. It's the way that kids learn through play. So number three we should really look at is the generation gap. And this is really important because we keep hearing everybody saying, oh, you know, kids today, they're not like they used to be. When I was a kid, you know, we didn't do this. We were outside all day, blah, 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 blah. So how do we know when things, important things change or not? So one of the big challenge of parenting for the past two decades has been screen time. But there is no such thing as screen time. Screen time doesn't mean anything. Screen time matters when you look at the content. So is the content age appropriate? Are they learning something from it? Are they enjoying something from it? That's really what's important. Now, I'm not saying your child has to be on the screen for eight hours a day, but I am saying that if you're trying to build something in Minecraft, you probably won't get it done in 20 minutes. Okay, number four, age appropriate research methods. So incorporating kids is critical. You don't want to create a full product and then at the end find out that it doesn't work that kids don't get it, that they can't use it, that they don't enjoy it. This is something you have to do in the process. And it's a bit more difficult and you have to read about it and you have to try it out to figure out how to make it work. But it's critical because we really do think differently about things. Just remember that clip with their watering the, the iPads, just different, just different. Okay. So it's really, really critical. 